This video explains how to include websites in your footnotes or endnotes according to the 16th edition of the Chicago Manual of Style. If your instructor has indicated that you should use only scholarly or peer-reviewed sources for your paper, this does not include websites. Instead, visit the Munn Library's website to search for books, ebooks, scholarly journals and articles. Sometimes, depending on the course or the assignment, it may be appropriate to use a website as a source, but make sure you evaluate it carefully. There are some credible websites out there that would be good sources of reliable information, like government or museum websites, for example. But unfortunately, there are plenty more that aren't very credible or well-written, that give questionable information and should be avoided as sources for university research paper. For more help with evaluating websites, see Munn Library's webpage, How to Evaluate Internet Resources. In these examples, all punctuation is in red for emphasis. In your actual notes, all font would be black. In your note, include as much of the following information as you can. The author's name, if any, followed by a comma, the title of the web page or document in quotation marks, then either the title of the website in italics, or the owner or sponsor of the site, followed by a comma, then the month, day, and year of publication, or of the last revision or modification, followed by a comma, and finally, the URL of the web page or document. For example, the title of the web page or document is in quotation marks. Next, in this first example, we have the title of the website, which goes in italics. In the second example, there wasn't an easily identifiable website title, so we use the name of the organization or company associated with the site. This does not go in italics. You may not always have a day or month of publication. This web page only provided a year of publication. If the web page indicates the date it was last revised or modified, write last modified followed by the date given. Notice the URL is not hyperlink or underline. It's often difficult to locate the necessary citation information for websites. Sometimes no specific author is given, or there is no date indicating when the information was written. If there is no author given, start with the title of the web page or document instead. If there's no date available, use the date that you access the web page. Normally in Chicago style, you would include a source cited in your notes in your bibliography at the end of your paper. But for websites, you only cite them in your notes you don't include them in your bibliography. For more information about Notes Bibliography Style, check out our other videos or visit the Munn Library's website for a Chicago style guide and chat live with library staff. Thanks for watching.